1946. A couple of ex-GIs toy with a new idea. Lloyd Rudd and Cy Malikian, just out of the Air Force, think there might be an opportunity for someone who can come up with a method of dispensing fresh, hot coffee automatically at any hour of the day or night. They develop a machine that will heat tap water to the boiling point and combine it with liquid coffee concentrate, liquid sugar and cream, to produce instantly a cup of coffee with either sugar or cream or both or black, according to the customer's preference. They issued shares of stock and shortly found themselves in business. Today, Rudd Malikian Incorporated is a thriving Philadelphia organization that thoroughly justifies the optimism of its founders. By now, the coffee vending machines they envisioned a decade ago are commonplace in factories, offices, and military installations everywhere. Those two XGIs find their days filled now with problems like metal forming, undercoating, tax withholding, and many other matters that just never came up in the service. The dispensing machines, too, have undergone drastic changes over the first crude hand-built model, and new changes are constantly being introduced. A lot of work and worry went into it, but everyone concerned can take satisfaction today in the fact that the new business has flourished. Profits to those who invested in it, wages to those whose efforts made it work, and hot coffee to everyone, when, where, and how they want it. Select drink, insert coin. Or as they used to say, you pays your money and you takes your choice. The number one health problem facing industry is the common cold. According to the U.S. Public Health Service, the toll from the common cold is over 150 million workdays lost annually, or more than all other work stoppages combined. However, industry, through the Common Cold Foundation, is doing something about this troublesome problem. Scientists believe that in the foreseeable future, a vaccine against at least one family of cold germs can be perfected. Through industry-supported research, the problem of the common cold appears nearer a solution than at any time in the past. Mm -hmm.